Legends, social media is here to stay. Mupende, musipende. What we need to do as a country and as a people is to start working towards institutionalizing these processes within our own processes. This idea that we wait for the UK to do something, then we follow. We wait for the US to do something, then we follow. Half of the fellows in Silicon Valley are from India and Africa. What business are they doing there if they don't help us develop our own systems here? So they send money, something called diaspora, uh, uh, diaspora remittances. PLO may kill me when I say this. PLO Lumumba uh, will kill me if I say this, but Adams do be my agent. When PLO ran for member of parliament for Kamkunji, uh, there is a small book Pelo wrote about that experience. <laughs> Pelo, Pelo went and uh, then he spoke good English. He's a guy from Eastland, so he speaks good Sheng. They told him, what is that Lua word for give me? Gonya. Gonya. <laughs> so Pelo was told Gonya. Pelo said, no, no, no. You know, we are talking ideas. We are talking uh, democracy. We are talking. <laughs> he was told, we can't eat your English. We can't eat your, <laughs> we can't eat your English. We can't eat your Gonya. We, we need Gonya. And Pilo lost to Simon Bogua. <laughs> so, but the bigger point is our friends in Silicon Valley in the US who have all this information, they can send us, they can go on as the, the diaspora remittances, but they also bring the intellectual input uh, into the country. Number two, the judiciary must continuously leverage on technology by adopting AI and forensic tools to detect deep fakes, verify authenticity of digital evidence presented in courts, Create partnerships with the cybersecurity experts to safeguard judicial data and electoral systems from digital threats. Because it's a reality we must face, and I told you, I warn you about what may happen in 2027. Let me then close by saying this. If there's nothing to come out of this uh, uh, conference, this, web seminar, this workshop, it must be the answer to the question where shall we be in 2027 in terms of AI and elections? Where shall we be in terms of defects and the election of 2027? Where shall we be in terms of uh, cyber attacks in 2027? Where shall we be in terms of the process of IEBC in 2027? Where will our judiciary be in terms of adoption of these forensic tools by 2027? If we don't answer those questions, don't blame anyone if something doesn't go right in 2027. But remember what happened in 2007. Because our friend Raila Odinga said he does not trust the, Matiba, the, the Kibaki courts. No election petition was filed to challenge the election. And Kenya banned. Whatever we think of our judiciary, is quite difficult because he has a silver tongue <laughs> but what I want to learn from him beyond this is uh, 
how to develop a thicker skin. Deep fakes, verify authenticity of digital evidence presented in courts, create partnerships with the cybersecurity experts to safeguard judicial data and electoral systems from digital threats. Because it's a reality we must face, and I told you, I warn you about what may happen in 2027. Let me then close by saying this. If there's nothing to come out of this uh, uh, conference, this, web seminar, this workshop, it must be the answer to the question, 